checking out the General Ultimax Arctic tires. These are the winter tires and I put them on my wife's car. This is a Toyota Camry and uh, I'm gonna see how they how they do. We just had our first snowfall in Minnesota. It's kind of slushy out there but I was out there earlier in my car which does not have snow tires and I was slipping and sliding in a few spots and I know where those spots are so I'm going to just head down the road and test these babies out and see how they perform. Now I've got about a thousand miles roughly on these, which is just fine. I uh, previously had the K uh, the um, Winter Force, the F uh, Firestone Winter Force tires, not on this car, but on a previous car that I owned. And that was a few years ago. I was really, really impressed with how they performed in the winter. But I didn't like how they performed on dry roads. They kind of push you around quite a bit, especially for the first 1,500 miles or so on the tires. But these have been perfect on the dry pavements over the first 1,000 miles. Like I said, it's been pretty dry out over the last few weeks. And uh, But these have been performing really nice, even without snow. And they say they work really well in the snow, and especially the slushy stuff. So again, I'm going to go test it out, and we'll take it from there. Here you can see exactly what we received so far. It's not much, and again, most of this is melted, especially on the pavements, but uh, it's just some slop out here. So whether or not it's a good test, it's not the real deep snow. The Winter Force tires were fantastic in deep snow, but again, really did not like how they performed on dry pavement. And I've heard that these, all the reviews showed that they were even better. So I'm not gonna get out of the car, all you're going to have to go on is my word and my voice. Not the most fun. But even this, just down my street, which isn't long, feels really good underneath. I'm going to slam on the brakes. Getting a little bit of a anti-lock brake there. Not much though. Certainly no slide or anything. No, this is just wet. Again, there's not much snow here. Um, just a, a dusty. But normally, oh my! Normally my tires would spin. These don't spin at all, and I don't even notice. See, this is the interesting thing, okay? Because I have a similar car to this Toyota Camry. I drive a Honda Accord, and I have all-season tires that are going bad. And uh, I can already tell you that it, you don't even feel it. You kind of uh, contr like you don't uh, on the uh, Honda. I'm going to describe this best I can. This little slush stuff that I was out in earlier. Well, you could really feel it, kind of hitting the tires and kind of getting sloshed up into the wheel well and would throw you just a little bit. Well, not this. My gosh. This is improvement. <laughs> it's kind of cool. All right, I'm going to get, I'm going to go find some side roads and I'll keep taping from there because this is uh, mainly wet. But again, I don't feel any slush throwing me from side to side or anything. It's different. I almost feel like I'm in a truck. And here's the side road, actually, I'll just drive right here. Okay, here we get a little bit more accumulation on the street. Oh my gosh, it's like glue. Huh. Yeah, that's a huge difference from when I was driving earlier in the court. Wow, it seriously feels like glue. That's a huge difference. That's just uh, so surprising, because I was driving around earlier in my Accord and I was trying to memorize exactly how the roads felt and how everything felt. And, uh, because even though I own winter tires, it's been a couple years since I've driven in the snow with winter tires. And, uh, wow, this never fails to impress, tell you that much. Wow, I mean, it's so commanding. Oh, my wife's gonna love this. Okay, so there was a little slip. I got into the deeper snow on the left side, so I'm not directly in the tire tracks. And I just punched it, and I did feel a little, and even there, just a little slip. Okay, I'm gonna, there's a little anti-lock brake, not much, right? You just stop, I mean, I'm, I'm on snow right now. So here, I'm gonna floor it. it. Slips a little bit, but you still feel totally in control. And again, this isn't deep snow, but uh, yeah, I felt like the tires just like, just wanted to go, it was just gripping in there. And the more they spin, the better for these winter tires. What I read is that uh, even having traction control off, it's actually a good thing for winter tires. 
It's traction control. They, they, I guess they want to spin, and if they spin, they can grip, 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 grip. Just keep going. Yeah, wow. Oh, that's, I mean, you know what? She's never going to floor it from a standstill, my wife. So she's nice. She's good to go this winter, man. Wow. Good. See, she drives my son to school as well, and I'm, I'm really happy about this. I don't have to worry about their safety. I didn't know how, see, I'm going down a hill now. You can't tell. I know this is on camera, but that's a decent grade of a hill, and huh, nothing. Come on up to the stop sign. Stop, no problem. Wow, these things just grip. All right, well, that's my review. Again, apologize. I know you're just going based on my voice, but they're awesome. Yeah, I mean, again, I'll have to test them out in deep snow to get a good uh, idea compared to the Winter Force. The Winter Force, again, were really good in deep snow. They have, they have that very aggressive uh, tread pattern, but man, they sucked in this kind of stuff. Well, no, this stuff they were okay, but I should say the uh, the dry roads, oof. They weren't fun to drive. They would really throw the car left to right. So, uh, there's garbage. Yeah, that, uh, that felt pretty good. And there's my Honda Accord that, uh, that I drive. And again, it was slipping pretty good while I was driving it. So, all right, hope you liked the review.